Welcome guys to the, um, it's about the third Eclipse Studio and I'm here today talking with my friend uh, that we met about four years ago, I'd probably say. Yeah, we're up there. Uh, so this we're is around. Jonathan Johnson, everyone. Everyone. From <laughs> um, and today we're going to be talking about how he got me started in Blender and also his channel and his site and what he does uh, right now. So, John, so we're going to talk sure. about how we met. So. Yeah, so we met, we had a, our company, or my brother and I mostly run this company we call Johnson Films. Um, mm -hmm. The website is johnsonfilms.net. Yeah, for anyone who's interested. Um, we had a booth at the Noah end, the film we were making at the time called The Story of Gang. And we had a, our booth there and talking about anim animation. You approached us and we were talking about it and then kind of just took off from there, really. From there, talking yeah. about movies. So we a lot yeah. uh, after the conference and we just kind of became, uh, I said it before, but you can actually see it on my channel if you go to the homepage. It'll be on the side. So you guys can find them there as well. So yeah, yeah, we met them and then did you yeah, yeah, started. So we started. We were working on the first of our story of Daniel series. We called it the King's Dream. Uh, we submitted that to the film festival last year, uh, Christian Worldview Film Festival in 2019, and now we're working on the second part of that um, called the Fiery Furnace. And we had a promotional video for that in this year's film festival, 2020 film festival. That's what what we were doing. This the film festival took place this week. Uh, story, so yeah, about halfway animated. Yeah, I'm from what I've seen, you know, step in our animation, and it's it's going to be really good. Yeah, and this is a fun one to make too because there's a lot more action with the fiery furnace. Yeah, you know, people getting thrown into the fiery furnace. It'll be yeah, fun, fun, <laughs> yeah, some fun to animate action scenes and. The drama that is involved with that is definitely the fiery furnace. Yeah. You know, people getting thrown into the fiery furnace. It'll be yeah. Fun, fun, <laughs> yeah, some fun to animate action scenes and the drama that is involved with that is definitely yeah. As a filmmaker, it's really fun that and figuring out the best ways to use that too because it all comes down to basically render times where yeah. you can make things look really realistic time and how is that going to look with the rest of the style. Of animation, basically, you want to have a consistent style across it. If you have like yeah. characters that look really cartoony, yeah, if that's a word, and um, <laughs> backgrounds that look super real, that can kind of create a clash in the style and yeah. make it look not very good. So, trying to get a consistent style across the board, consistent balance, yeah, looking, looking good, balance and, of realism and yeah. the cartoon kind of nature of the film. But you guys already have achieved in the some of your uh, in your new uh, the finished portion of the beginning one that's also in the trailer uh yeah that will be that looks really cool the shot where it's sweeping over sort of the scene oh yeah the first thing. Army yeah. Camp. yeah that yeah. was that was a fun scene to make that's my brother nate who did most of the uh landscape work on that kind of yeah. design the lamps the rocky landscape of jerusalem and then mm -hmm. putting in the <clears throat> surrounding armies and like the camps and stuff like that that's yeah. a fun scene to make also it takes a lot of render time so having a powerful computer is important for yeah. you have you know ten, tens of thousands of particle systems or particles in a particle system going on that can definitely cut into how how it looks yeah definitely how, or how the render time work yeah yeah so yeah the fire simulator is going to be interesting yeah. um, but definitely a key part of the story so we're going to have yeah. to work on that uh, but yeah I was animating that specific scene actually not too long ago the part where they get thrown into the fire furnace so. Yeah, that's a fun scene to make and playing with the lighting and how the cast shadows and things like that. So yeah, it's gonna be a cool scene. I think. Be really Hopefully, cool. it turns out well. Yeah. We'll <laughs> yeah. And uh, in the future, they will be probably putting this into the film festival. In the future, yeah, that's the plan. Is yeah, uh, this yeah. should probably be film festival uh, that's in Tennessee. We actually just went to it. That's why he's here. We just came back from doing that for two days. Uh, and so they're going to be planning on putting that film in the future into the. Uh, into the thought festival that's there. So hopefully that'll be really good, maybe. And we're still working, yeah, I'm getting the first story of Daniel. The movie is pretty much finished. We had a lot of tweaking kind of to do with some of the scenes. There are some errors in them, like they were not rendered correctly or they were rendered yeah. so low quality, it doesn't look good. Yeah. So we've been tweaking that and trying to figure out how we're gonna distribute that. That's kind of the next step for that mm -hmm. film. Mm -hmm. And if we do, or when we get it available, we'll definitely have something on our YouTube channel and our Instagram account, which is Johnson Films Official, we'll definitely have that 
Is it, at, is it at Johnson? Yeah, at Johnson Films Official. Okay. So. so yeah, you guys can uh, check that out. So I hope you guys can find that. <laughs> yeah, hopefully we'll get that out soon. I, I'm not familiar Sooner with Instagram rather than later. also. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know how you guys find it, but I'm sure all of you people know how Instagram works. Yeah. So, yeah. So is there any new voice talent that you've taken on with this new project? Is there any new actors that are... Not yet. Okay. Um, we Mostly it's the same actors from before. Yeah. Um, so my siblings and friends that have been mm -hmm. contributing to that. Um, the person who played Nebuchadnezzar, my cousin, he's also back doing that. He's, yeah. he did, he's done an excellent job. He's got, his, yeah, his, he's got a great voice for yeah. you know, commanding Nebuchadnezzar, the king. Yeah. Um, we might have a new character we'll introduce, um, mm -hmm. but we'll have to see if I'm not kind of still editing the story. Yeah, so, the end of the story of that. So yeah, yeah. So no new voice talent there, but we are also with the new update to Blender two point eight, we've been able to it renders faster than it was in the older versions. So that has been helpful. Where we can kind of increase some detail in the yeah. scenes, make it look look more high quality stuff yeah. like that. That's probably the main thing we've tweaked from the first movie to the second movie has been how. Um, kind of the quality of actual render, so making sure there's no like fuzziness or mm -hmm. blurred lines and things like that. Trying to make it look sharper, yeah, because that's a big step in making the film look more professional. Yeah, definitely. Right, because when you're rendering with like the cycles render engine, where you can get it to look really sharp by increasing the number of samples you're rendering with, but that'll also increase your render times. It's always finding the balance between what you can actually get made, basically, yeah. in a reasonable amount of time. And for those of you who do not know, uh, we use Blender, which is a free open source 3D software that you can find on uh, www.blender.org slash download. And you can download their new uh, long-term solution. I think it's a long-term support version for Blender, which is uh, Blender 2.83, which is supposed to be very stable. It's a new release. It's really hard to watch in, uh, the, that closely to see if they have anything else, but yeah. So I'm very sure that there's a link in the description. Yeah, there's a link in the description. So I remember the version of like two versions. They've Blender has definitely improved a lot since then. Yeah. There's a challenge starting with that, but yeah, the first short film we made was back in 2010. It was a not a very high quality film. It was about the story of Joseph from Genesis chapter 40 around there. Um, we submitted that to a film festival in San Antonio and got accepted and came out of that really you know, pumped up to make the more parts of it, kind of finish out the story. Yeah. And so a ton. That's one thing I've learned from using a TV program. And the animation uh, yeah. and all of the things, the 3D modeling, the lighting, the color, all that stuff that yeah, goes into making a anime film. Learning things that you wouldn't think would be a problem. Like, I remember we were the first film we made, we didn't think to record the voices before we made animated the characters talking. So we would animate them talking, and we thought we'd just record our voices and match it up to that, which was not a good strategy. But you know, Definitely you want run. to record your actors first, and yeah. then have thing we learned during the project was, okay, definitely have that recorded to it. How many frame, your frame rate, how many frames you want in, how many frames per second you want, because you've got, you know, 10 minute of frame rendering times, the more frames you have if you're trying to make like a 15 minute movie, that is going to be a lot of rendering time. So yeah. figuring that out was something we learned also was how long rendering takes. Yeah. It's a big and rendering deal. can take a very long time. So make sure you're prepared to render things because they take a very long time sometimes, but with newer versions, they've gotten faster. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. So what do you, what is the main thing you do at Johnson Films as opposed to like what your brother does? Like what yeah. kind of the roles that you take on at, so my brother does most of the character design and rigging. Um, he rigged all the characters we use um, in the story of Daniel films, a lead role in the character animation. So he has a, a good eye for like kind of the movement and how the characters like expressions through that. That's good. I do a lot of the scene design, like the layout, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So and then also blocking the scenes, what yeah. characters are going to be where, kind of getting the basic camera movements down. Uh, figuring out the lighting is something I do a lot. Yeah, we do have a lot of overlap where we can both do things, do the same tasks for different scenes fairly well. But then we're also trying to find the balance of we each have a different style. So yeah. if you can have 
one person do one thing, you're going to get that kind of uniform style across. Whereas if we're both taking different scenes, they're going to be a little bit different styles between all right, how yeah. I animate a character is different from how Nate would view this character moving or how he animates even. Mm-hmm. So he gets a little rigging animation and then character design is one of the main stuff he does. And I take a lot of the scene design and kind of a lighting look of the film as well. Lighting. Nice. Yeah. yeah. It's the lighting is good. And the color yeah. as well. Yeah, I mean, it's fun. Those are fun. That's a good thing about animation is how much you can control lighting where it's not mm-hmm. like you have to wait for, okay, I want this, I want to shoot, shoot film on a cloudy day. It was like, I can put whatever sky I want in the background, okay. basically uh, get that level of control. That I have. Also camera work too. Yeah. And you, yeah. you can put the camera anywhere. Yeah. I had a friend who was Talk doing about- Live yeah. yeah, a friend was doing live action filming. He was saying, like, I'm so jealous of you guys and your animation and stick as many cameras as you want. You can put them anywhere. Yeah. It's like, yeah. But the, then the problem with animation or the difficulty in animation compared to live action filming is when you want character movement. So you can't just tell your character, yeah. all right, just you know, walk from here to here. You've yeah. got to animate every step of that, which is time consuming. It takes a lot to get Different. good movement to look good. Pros and so, cons. Yeah, pros and cons. Yeah. I, I love animation. I just love the, uh, yeah. the creativity and the, the design. Consuming, you know, to it is, make it is a, time consuming. A, probably a year to make the first Daniel movie. It's more than a year. It's it's eight, 18, you know, eight hours a day for, you know, 18 months. It was definitely spurts yeah. of going a lot of work followed by kind of, all right, a lot of, a lot of work during the summer and then during school, you know, a little bit less. So kind of, fluctuates as far as how much time we're putting in but yeah definitely always starting out a project you have in mind like oh this will be finished you know in this amount of months and it's always longer than that it's yeah that's the way it goes yeah yeah things you wouldn't think of that we had after we finished the joseph movies Mm -hmm. we started on the project we decided to completely redesign the characters basically as far as their rigs and stuff like that because they were very amateur rigs from the first characters and we wanted to definitely improve that. So mm-hmm. that's something I've found starting a new project is you'll always think the level of detail will start getting like increased in different areas. And then you got to kind of bring that level of yeah. detail up in other areas. So we had very basic characters. We started putting in a ton of detail into like the city scenes and the background scenes. Yeah. And then we realized when you put this character in this scene, it does not look good at all it does not match so yeah. we had to end up going ramping up like even the clothing design yeah which that is yeah we had really to, my sister did like kind of sketches of those based on like research she's done she was the so, costume designer yeah costume designer even though couldn't make real costumes because yeah. it was animated but that's still a role that needs to be yeah. filled so sure. yeah that was one thing that took a while that we didn't anticipate that oh we're gonna have to remake all these characters from scratch basically yeah not we can't use the old model we had yeah so tell us a little bit about your website that you guys have. Yeah, so the website is johnsonfilms.net. Um, you can find links to our YouTube channel and I think our Instagram from there. Um, that, and you can also see like the project we've been working on. We've got the Joseph and Trilogy project on there and the story of Daniel. We have mm-hmm. some updates about that. Um, also, some of the other services we do. So my brother and I do some design services so mm-hmm. people can approach us if they want like a logo made or a logo animation done we've, had, we've done that in the past we've done some work for um, people who are running startups who wanted you know had a product in mind but they wanted to be able to you know show it to people before they actually made it so that's mm-hmm. where you know animation can come in handy we've made some demonstration videos for several companies in the past like product design yeah, c- yeah. kind of like that yeah well like a demonstration video. So we would design the product for them. They had the yeah. product in mind. We were showing how that product would be in use, basically. Oh, okay. That's something that animation can do well. Is, is like yeah. showing something that doesn't exist yet, how that will operate well. What exactly was that project? I can't say. You can't say okay. <laughs> Yeah, some non-disclosure agreements have been signed. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. That's an interesting thing about you know, trying to make a portfolio, too, where some of the stuff you make, you know, you can't, Show yeah, all of it, you know. Yeah. <laughs> it's one thing working startups that's interesting. Yeah. So have you worked with any companies so far? Like Yeah, I've worked with um I mean you worked with the University of Michigan? We did some work not directly with the University of Michigan, but like for someone who worked at the University of Michigan, we did some video editing for them. Oh, so okay. yeah, the University of Michigan yeah. did not hire us directly. That would have that yeah. been a huge deal. Yeah, yeah that would and I have used also Blender in some of my school projects when I was at U of M. Um yeah doing some demonstration videos too as well for like some project teams I was on nice. or project classes I was on, sorry. 
So yeah. what exactly? Uh, so you said video editing, mm -hmm. uh, you yeah. do animation, and you do. What are some of the things that your business does? Yeah, so we do um, some video editing. We use Adobe Premiere. I think that's what you use, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, um, we do use Blender for like animation, making things like that. We've also um, done a little bit of you know as an engineer doing some like sketches and drawings of mm -hmm. ideas. If people want that, we offer those services. So basically services that are related to product design and display almost, I would say. Um, that's where area we can help. We have you know details on our website. We have a services we offer a section on our website you want to check out. Yeah. So that, that's, yeah. And then we also have the filmmaking side where we're doing like yeah. the story of Daniel projects like that. Which I think you guys can watch the trailer for Obey Right Away, which is the Lego short right. Is there a trailer I for that? I think, I'm not sure we ever made a trailer for that. Which that, is kind of a short Yeah, Obey Right Away, yeah, it's a Lego film. Is that um, on Christian cinema? That is also on Christian cinema, yes. So that one and also Joseph in Egypt 3? Yeah, just you know, two and three. The two and three parts of that are both. So on yeah, there. if you guys go check that out on Christian Cinema, like uh, I think it's ChristianCinema.com. I think yeah. where you can find it. Yeah. And then uh, I have the app, so I know if you go to the animation section, I found it pretty quick at the top. Mm -hmm. But I think it was because it was recently added. Yeah. But you might have to go through it a little bit or just search for it. Search so yeah, for it, yeah. Probably find it there. Yeah, and the uh, Lego Obey right away, which is a short Lego. Um, film. It's about like six minutes, I think. The fun thing about that was we also combined some green screens in there mm -hmm. and some blender work mm -hmm. where we had some airplane shots where we wanted like the fire coming out of the back with the jetter. We premiered for that using mm -hmm. the green screen. But yeah, combining the different uh, programs to me, that was really fun. Yeah, that's great. But it will be seen. Yeah, so we're working on the Fiery Furnace story of Daniel film right now. And that's going to be the next, I think, the next thing will release at some point. So is there any sort of release date for that? Or is not at the mind? moment, no. I mean do you think it'll be next year, definitely? I hope it will be next year. Be Everything's kinda of up in the air right now. Yeah, but that's um, true. yeah, so that's we'll, that'll be the next project. And we'll have updates on what we're doing on our YouTube channel, Instagram and stuff like that. Nice. Yeah. Well that'll be awesome. Well it doesn't look like we have any people uh, asking questions. So I think we will wrap up the live stream. Thank you guys for watching this. This is my friend Jonathan Johnson, and we shall see you guys in the next live stream. Right. So thank yeah. you so much for Thanks being for on having me on the show. Thank yeah. you.